and welcome to my new playlist, Virgo with Fru. This playlist, don't have my kids, will be about saving money, power, and doing free activities with friends and families when you don't want to spend money or you don't have the money to spend on such things, and just general frugal tips that I will share with you. This first video will be about how to save money, maybe with a bit of spending, but how to save money. I do have a little bit of notes down here, so I will be looking down there from time to time. And disclaimer, if you see my kids home through that door, I am sorry, they are home and they are not well today apparently. So the first one is use reusable bags. Now this one is a bit of a contradiction because you have to pay for the reusable bags. So of course every Australian knows the 10 cent calls bag. You all know this one. Woolworths too. You take them everywhere. I use Coles and Woolworths. Woolworths and Coles. They don't care. I even use Aldi's at every other store. But unlike Aldi's for some reason, I notice that Aldi's last longer. Coles and Woolies, if you maybe put something in too fast and the corner gets stuck and it has a hole, they don't last much long after that. Well, uh, Aldi's, I noticed, generally last longer no matter how rough you are with them. So, But if you don't want to use this cheap 10 cent plastic reusable one you can buy the I guess this is also plastic but it's recycled plastic the ones they have for two dollars but again don't put too much in it because this is just fabric I wouldn't be putting 30 or 40 kilos in here I just take this for if I wanted to get a couple small things like coffee wipes just uh, bread something small and then you got these ones that I know this is from Vinnie's I went up oh, shopping. Um, this one was, I think, ten cents as well. So this one is ten cents material. Again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust putting anything too heavy in here. But if you want to, then go ahead. It hasn't got a plastic bottom like the other ones do. See, so it's just got blue at the bottom. And I do have the insulated ones from Coles. I was lucky enough before these became really popular to be given some so I have them for the cold stuff and also when I want to go for a picnic or something and I want the stuff to stay cold in summer I take them with me. Number two is don't buy newspapers or magazines when sometimes you can read articles online for free or you can just go to your local library and read them there. Yes I know COVID-19 has restricted some of us, most of us I should actually say and some of the states and that are opening slowly but when it does open if you want to read a news article or even ask if a family member who you know reads the paper has gotten it. Maybe they will let you borrow the paper. So you can just read this one article. Because if you're just going to read it once, there's no point buying the paper when you can just look at it for free. Um, if you're looking for something, go look on to Facebook or Marketplace. Look for the buy, sell and swap pages. The um, consumer pages, if there's any in your area. And the giveaway pages. They come so in hand, so helpful when you need something or when you are giving something away for someone else and you don't want to I've given so much away because I don't want to sit it for the price tag and just sit there for ages and it doesn't sell so I just give it away I've gone on there I have gone on to um, the giveaway page and have gotten some stuff that I needed f um, last minute for my son for school like truck pants and that for winter because he suddenly outgrew he's in a growth spout it's just annoying parents you know that problem. Number four, this one I highly recommend now due to COVID-19, is take your own water bottle. Use it. Use it. I take this one everywhere. This is also an Anakin school one. But I thoroughly, I wash it out thoroughly every day with hot water. I take it. I take my own water bottle with me when I go with my friends. No one else touches it. It stays in my bag just so that I know that nothing outside no strangers nothing has touched the top so I can drink without worrying about COVID-19 I do not touch the top either until I wash my hands so. number five is at the parks you may or may not have some free gym equipment that you can use so if you don't want to pay for a gym membership I suggest going to use them the ones I have two lots at my local park and I have never seen anyone use them except for teenagers who are showing off to their friends and just generally using them as play equipment because I know the difference between working out and playing they're not working out so um, 
again COVID-19 please make sure that you wipe it down if you want to use them hopefully you don't get it I'm really sorry for everyone who has gotten it uh, number six is reuse and repurpose things before you throw them out example for me obviously is the baby formula tins they were just collecting and now I use them to store uh, pet food I've washed them out thoroughly to store like chocolate for my kids I put it in the formula tin and it goes in the fridge in the packet of course but I've washed it out and I use it there to hide my chocolate in so they they haven't clicked onto that one yet either so that's good I have drilled holes in it to make a watering can I've drilled holes in them to make a bird feeder which has been uh, sort of a success I've seen a butcher bird and a magpie eat from it and I've used them as pot plants which for my plants that are growing in there now so repurpose always try to repurpose and reuse stuff before you throw it out go shopping at secondhand shops is number seven on my list I love going to op shops they always have something there that you may need like I once got a pair just before I started school I got a pair of Nike shoes which I found out were about 90 bucks online I got them for five dollars and they lasted me three months of walking to and from school every day um, so I'm thinking for five bucks for three months that's pretty good savings for me I have even restocked their <coughs> um, wardrobes from another op shop which has a 25 20 cent clothing section and it's usually just all kids and I've managed to restock their wardrobe sometimes for winter or summer and I've even bought some stuff for myself when they've had sales pair, like I think I got like five pairs of jeans which fit me perfectly for like a dollar they were 20 cents each nothing wrong with them some even had a tag on them so number eight is buy in bulk this one kind of goes against the save money set thing but when Costco opened up in my area uh, Coles and some local shops were doing the um, bigger bulkier items so that you would shop there more and because I don't have a Costco card I probably won't be getting one for a while either I saw this big tub of Vanish washing powder uh, I think it was for under $20 I think it's been a bit while since I've still got it it's not even halfway through and I still have it so buy in bulk that is the bulk item that I have bought that I still am using to this day like a year later and I wash every week I don't miss a washer <coughs> I don't miss washing I do like I do my big loads like once a week sometimes twice depending on the weather but I still have it's pretty big I don't think I have anything to compare it to but yeah it's about this with a handle I can't remember how many liters I'm sorry um, if I do I'll insert the caption down here to say how many liters it is number nine budget everyone says budget I know everyone who says save money is you got a budget so I'm not even going to talk about that one because it's taken me 30 years to budget so number 10 is grow your own veggies it is currently winter in Australia so I'm just growing herbs that I know are going to grow in winter but once summer comes I'll be planting carrots potatoes and potatoes tomatoes and potatoes I don't know what I just said sorry I will be trying to plant some of my own veggies it one saves me buying them and two it also means that I can use them because if I don't have them I don't use them so and I want to try to get more veggies into our diets so that's always a plus um, number 11 even though it's not on here is look around for your local um, what are they like um, I would say like uh, warehouse thing that you can save on food I'm trying to find I'm not trying to be rude right now um, there is one if you are in Queensland Australia and you are near uh, I think Logan is it Logan no Slacks Creek there is one called Lowe's and Fisher Street Meat Care Service they 
they give you a trolley. Hang on. I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't. Damn it. They give you a trolley, uh, two trolleys, for $50. One trolley is just um, your miscellaneous items, like sometimes you get milk. There's never a set thing in these trolleys, it's just whatever they have. So like sometimes it's milk, sometimes it's noodles, sometimes it is some chips, sometimes it is some frozen products. And in the other trolley, there is just vegetables and um Fruit, fruit and vegetables. So for $50, you get two massive trolleys. And I've had trouble sometimes fitting those trolleys in the car because they give it to you in boxes as well. And you get just, I've even pureed food down for Neo, even though he's refusing to eat it. I have pureed down the bananas and the apples and everything so that they don't go to waste because they give you so many. It is unbelievable. So always check for like those kind of places where they will help you with food or they will help you with um, what are they called? Packages and that for food. Um, number 12 is always check the reduce to clear section at shops. Sometimes you will find some good things there. Um, I've done that for like some birthday presents, some of, uh, some of the kids Christmas presents. It was from ten dollars down to three. I was sitting there going, "How can you not, not want to give that to another person as a present?" Like I know it sounds cheap, but they don't even know about the price. And if they care about the price, then clearly they are more materialistic than you think. I do not care about the price. I can be given a three dollar ring, and I'll still love it. I'll wear that thing to death if I have to. Like. Um, I've given them reduced to clear presents. I think one of their, a few of their presents, even their toys, are reduced to clear stuff. There is nothing wrong with them. They are not opened. Uh, they are not being used. They just, they want them off their shelves. So, yeah. And here we go to the other page. <laughs> uh, wait. Um, another one is... What is this? 12, 13. Make your coffee at home. I have a Starbucks metal flask. It's about, yeah, about that big. If I'm going out and I'm thinking I might want a coffee or I might want to finish my coffee, I will just put my coffee into there and then I will take my coffee out. I do not need to buy a $5 coffee. The last time I had bought a coffee was at least two years ago. $5 for the same size that I can make here. So buy, make your coffee at home. Number 14 is keep your leftovers. Use your leftovers. Leftovers for me in this family go to my partner for his lunch. If we're having chicken for dinner, I will take the leftovers and give it to him for lunch. He doesn't complain. He doesn't care. I will give the leftovers for the kids' lunches. I will give leftovers for lunch to the kids. So, always keep your leftovers because I don't know why people don't like eating their leftovers. It's just, it's the same food that you had the night before, you just got to heat up sometimes. Um, don't buy brand names. I am not a person who will buy brand names. Unless it's at the op shops. Disclaimer, unless it's at the op shops, I will buy brand names, but I will not go out and buy a brand name from a store brand new. I think it's a waste of money. I'm sorry to everyone who buys brand names. But I find it to be a waste of money when they do the exact same thing as the non-brand name items. Uh, I don't know what I'm up to, sorry. I'll insert it when I figure it out. Uh, buy off-season. Buy winter clothes in summer if you can. Buy summer clothes in winter. It always works out sometimes. I do this sometimes. It's handy. This skirt is not very winterish, is it? It's very thin fabric. It gets cold easy. I bought it in the off season. I bought it like two weeks ago. For I think it was for ten dollars. I'm not too sure, but yeah, but I like it. I buy a lot of things when I don't need them, and I mean that in the sense of summer, winter, winter, spring. You know, if you have family and you have a um. Like me, I have a sister-in-law who has two girls who are just as old enough um, 
two hand-me-downs to Jasmine. They're the youngest clothes. They can basically fit into the same clothes, but her hand-me-downs go to Jasmine, and then Jasmine's I hand down to friends who have little girls who are younger than Jasmine who will fit into them. Um, and as for Anakin, since no one has a boy really in this family that's older than him right now, except for like someone far away, his clothes will go down to Neo, and then Neo's clothes, if they, someone's got a little boy, will go down to someone else. Actually, my sister has a boy who's eight, and his clothes have gone down to Anakin, so my life, my sister has a little boy. Um, DIY, I know that sounds the same thing as repurposing and reusing, but to me it's kind of different. Um, I guess if you want to DIY something, like a vase or something, you can find something in the house to use. Uh, you can DIY soap if you buy the stuff, I guess. That's really contradicting what I've just said. But anyway. <laughs> and also, if you want to save, this one also goes for both activities as well. If you want to save money and not go to like theme parks and zoos, go find free parks and free animal centers. If you live in Ipswich, Australia, you will know that Ipswich has an animal park where, yes, they ask for a donation, but you can walk around this whole thing that has wallabies, it has geese, it has bilbies, it has emus, it has kangaroos. You can walk around that for however long you want until they close, of course. All for free. All they ask is for like a gold coin donation so they can feed their animals. But it's free. Go find things that you can do for free. Go to a park or um, a peace gardens or something. You will find that there is nature, there is calm, and you will have more fun walking around there than you will in a big theme park. I suggest checking out the Numera Gardens in Ipswich, the Animal Park in Ipswich, Mount Cutha, um, and the Mount Cutha Botanical Gardens part, and the Mount Cutha Lookout. There are many hiking trails around Mount Cutha, and even if you want to go as far as Mount Tambourine, it can get busy, but you can still, it's not as going to be as busy as a water park or a theme park. And there, if you want to go a bit of hiking, there is a waterfall that you can find down there. So that is the end of my... No, it's not. But anyway, I will put the next slot. I just remember, I've got a couple more things here. But I will put them in the how to save power section because it kind of is both. So that is the end of this how to save frugal with fru. I will, I will hope you... That did not make sense. I will hope you. I will be hoping to do more of these as the weeks go on because things are getting back to normal here. I have some obligations to the government to do things. So, But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And if I have forgotten anything or I did not know anything about how to save money, comment. Give me more ideas on how to save money. I'm trying to save up here for a big thing. So comment down below. Um, I hope you did enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.